Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. We've got a uh, special little project we're going to do again today, but it involves some travel. So stick around, we'll take you for the ride. Now, first thing this morning, we came out in the garden and we were hoeing around a bit. And then we saw because of all the rain, we had some weeds coming up in the walk path. So we got the wheel hoe out here, took care of those real quick. So now we can walk away from this, but isn't, isn't all this looking great? What a difference a week makes out here. Now our special trip we got to make is to go get some compost. We've been talking a lot about compost lately, but the uh, family that I work for, they get uh, bulk compost in, truckloads of compost, because they make a compost tea that they fertilize their crops with. They run it through the pivots. They meter it into their really neat operation. Maybe we'll do a video on that one day. But uh, they ordered up some compost here recently and the truck that was bringing it in, uh, for some reason the driver got distracted or something and went off into the ditch and rolled the truck, spilled the load all over their neighbor's pasture. But the truck driver came out okay, and uh, but the compost was pretty much a loss because all the bags were torn up and it was strung out all over the pasture. They were able to recover some of the bags and get those cleaned it all up out of their neighbor's pasture. And then the company sent them a new load of compost to replace that load. So all this stuff is just laying around their yard. So the other day when I was driving truck, they asked me, hey, do you want some compost for the homestead? And I'm like, uh, yeah. So he said, bring a trailer out one day when you're hauling and uh, we'll get you loaded up. We'll get you some of this to take home. So... You know me, one of my favorite prices is free 99. So we got to go haul some corn today. We got two loads to do. I'm going to take the trailer, get everything loaded up, and we'll get on the way and go get some compost. All right, we got loaded up. We have our spare tire for the trailer. We have a jack. We've got a bunch of straps. We've got a uh, tarp and our electric impact gun in case we need to change the tire. Probably, I think I got a bigger tarp. We'll probably throw that in too. And then we got our little little trailer here hooked up. Remember, folks, if you're driving or pulling a trailer around, make sure you have everything for your trailer because, like, your tire iron that you get with your vehicle is probably not going to be the same for the lugs on your trailer. So make sure you have what you need. Make sure you always have a spare tire. All right, we're going to put the dogs in the house and get on the road. We'll see you there. All right, we grabbed lunch. We are on our way out to the ranch to pick up our free compost. All right, here's the bulk of it here. Some of the bags are still kind of intact and some of them are not. So we'll probably try to lift uh, maybe the more intact ones onto the trailer and then uh, kind of tarp them down. All right, we got her all loaded up. We got two bags on the trailer and then uh, we put eight straps on it. So I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Now the key to keeping your tarp on your trailer and not letting the wind get up under it, put your tarp about halfway on the trailer uh, out this way and put your load on the front of the tarp and then your tarp will go all the way over the top and there's no way it can blow up in the front. Now, if you forget to do that, you could always roll the uh, front of the tarp three or four times around a strap and then run a strap around the front. And then as you tighten that strap, there's no way that tarp can pull out because it's, it's bound into there. So we're gonna uh, take off down the road. We're gonna meet Kelly in town. So uh, hopefully, We'll go three or four miles down the road and then we'll check all our straps. We're taking all back roads into town, staying on the gravel. I don't want to go down the uh, state highway with this load. 
case something happens. I don't want to break down on the state highway. I'd rather break down on old gravel road. Now, the reason we're not going all the way home with this is uh, we're going out of town to watch softball tonight, and I won't have time to get home. So Kelly's going to come in town and meet me. We're going to grab some fast food real quick and get on the road. And then uh, on the way home, she'll drop me off to get my pickup and our load of compost. All right, we made it. Our load is still secure. So Kelly's just about here. So we're not going to be able to show you unloading this tonight, but we'll see you in the morning. Well, just like that, it's morning, folks. Got some beautiful clouds up in the sky this morning. Had a good softball game last night. Lily pitched a really good game and they won it handily. But it was a double header and uh, they pulled her out for the second game and uh, went through two pitchers and lost pretty handily. So we're real proud of her. But we had a little ordeal here on the homestead yesterday while I was out hauling corn. So we'll show you what happened. Pretty crazy. Got a wreck in our yard now. Happened yesterday. Kelly was at home. The dogs were barking. But uh, the young girl on her learner's permit with her brother in the car got a little too far into the rhubarb and ended up rolling their car here. Just past our driveway. Everybody was okay. The girl got scraped up a little bit. But they'll probably come pull this thing out tomorrow. But uh, looks like she got distracted here on our corner. And with the gravel on the road, if you get too far out into the gravel, you're going to go off the road. That accident could have been a lot worse. So... Don't get distracted driving, young people. Don't know what could have distracted her. <laughs> I'm not going to speculate. Well, I thank God I live here every day. So beautiful, peaceful out here. I just love it. Might as well show you this while we're here. This is a new uh, little project that we did. We had a very rough area right here in this outer portion of the grass from years of erosion coming down through here. There was like a big valley that came down through here and it was very hard to mow because it was uh, pretty gnarly. The mower had a hard time getting through it. So this got all rototilled up the other day and I brought the tractor out and did a bunch of dirt work. Smoothed all that out real nicely. So this will be much, much better to mow. Probably should pick up some buffalo grass and reseed this while we're getting some rain here in the spring. Or I got a couple of big sprinklers we could put out here. But this is going to be so much nicer. All right, we're going to start a whole other compost pile right here with this. I don't want to mix it with our compost in the making because this is already composted all the way down and is usable in its current form. So, looks like I need to straighten the trailer out just a little bit. We're going to have to pull this off with the tractor. Uh, it's got those broken bags on there and we loaded it with the tractor with a grapple because that was really the only way to pick these bags up. They're in pretty bad shape, so... Let's get this straightened out and then we'll get the tractor out and it looks like it's time for a fast video montage with some cheesy background non-copyrighted music.
Ruby, why can't you be a princess like your sister? She stays nice and clean, but you have to roll in everything you get dirty in. Dirty dog. Alrighty, there's our beautiful, rich, black compost. It uh, looks really good. It's got a nice, sweet smell to it like compost should. It doesn't have any off-putting smells. We'll probably repurpose this uh, plastic pallet that was underneath it. We could use that for moving stuff around the homestead. Unfortunately, these big bags are toast, which is a shame because somebody could have used those to hold material and move material around, but they were all ripped up from the crash. But we'll clean this pile up a little bit here. We'll get a shovel out here. We'll be happy to have this stuff really like to thank Logan and Clay, the guys I work for, for providing us with this black gold here on the homestead. This stuff's going to, every drop of this is going to get used. We thank you very much. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed our little compost journey. That was kind of fun. Hope they get this car moved because uh, lots of looky-loos thinking this is a fresh wreck coming by, but... There's some caution tape on it. Hopefully they'll figure it out. 
But we got softball again to go to tonight. We're excited. We're going to go watch Ida play. And then uh, we got softball on Friday. We got softball all weekend. So we're set for entertainment. So till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here on Mark Kelly Farm where we're going to be using this fantastic compost. Farming families don't need tow trucks, folks.